Greetings everyone and welcome back to Township. As you can see, the population has exploded to 5,185. And as you can see on the top left, I have reached level 47. Now 47 is kind of an expensive level because we get another factory. Fortunately, I do have a decent amount of money, but that factory is going to cost 48,000, so I'm not going to have a lot afterwards. Certainly not enough to buy the hydroelectric plant that I have to to extend the maximum population. And then, of course, after that, the apartment buildings I'm going to need to actually get that population. It is lucky, however, and it's no coincidence you're seeing this video today, that we have the last day of Ruler of the Mine. Now, the last time I did this, I did speed through most of it, and that was actually fairly popular. So we're going to do that again, only this time, we're going to go through the whole thing. And I do have the mining implements to get that done. Now, we do have some other things, like for instance, we have some trains that pulled in, and I do see some mining stuff on the trains. So why don't we just empty these out? You know, sometimes I get very lucky with these trains, and you have exactly what you need to send them right out. Other times, it does not work out that way. All right, but let's just see what we can get here. All right, let's just throw everything in here. I have expanded my storage. I'm up to 685. It is going to be a while before I can do that again. All right, that first one is not terrible. Okay, the second one's going right out, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I buy some things all the time. Yeah, that one's going right out. I don't think I have three cheese. Oh, I do have three cheese. Okay, so the last one's going right out. Uh, I do believe I have some potato chips, so I can do something about that. I don't think I have four of those, though. All right, let's just pull back here for a moment and see what we can do. All right, first things first, let's get the um, potato chips. And I'm just going to replace that one immediately. Now, in terms of these, I have two. All right, I'm going to start working on those immediately. And I don't suppose you guys are selling any? No, I don't see any, that is. In fact, I don't see anything I want to buy. All right, well, you know what? That one is just going to have to wait. It's not going to take too long. I take that back, an hour and 20 minutes each. So that's just the way that is. But I do get to send this last one out. And I can fill that one. And for that, I'm not going to use one of these precious tickets, even though I do have a lot of them. And I will be getting more of them today. All right, let's just pull on back. I noticed I had some gold in here. Yeah, I am actually starting to run low on these materials because I've been doing upgrades of my factories. One of the upgrades actually required me to have 12 bronze ingots. I might as well start doing that one now. Uh, but I have done, like I said, I have been doing the upgrades... Where is it? Is it this one? Right, there it is. Okay, so I am all the way down to... The food processing plant. The last one I did was the rubber factory. Um, i just doing them in order, and I stop when I get the extra spot. Because those extra spots are very useful for long-term storage of things that you actually create. You know, if you have the space... Here, let me just find it here. You can just store things there and you don't have to worry about filling up your storage. All right, so another thing I have is I do have some new creatures for the zoo. And I do believe I have spots for all of them, so let's go. Because I think I have a number of them. I've gotten kind of lucky in the meantime here. All right, so let's take a look at what we have available. Polar bears! I have two polar bears. Fortunately, I have some place to put them too. Scooby is an excellent name for a polar bear. All right, so there he is all the way up there. It's north because it's cold. All right, we should see the helicopter coming soon. Okay, we didn't actually see it. We just saw the box. Okay, and unfortunately, that tree is in the way. Well, maybe he likes that. All right, but I do have another one. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Over here. Sunshine. So Scooby and Sunshine, although... That look, that look is a little bit disturbing, just saying. That's got crazy written all over it. I'm sure Scooby will be fine, though. And, and why is there... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I guess that's a human. I got very distracted by that because there was a zebra at the end there. So I'm guessing that's a human in a zebra outfit. 
although I'm not sure which is more disturbing. Okay, so um, Sunshine likes to swim. Okay, that's good. That's what polar bears do. All right, now, uh, I do have a young uh, giraffe here. We have the other one. Actually, I don't have the, uh, the mother, but I do have, I'm guessing that's the daughter. Haley. Okay, hopefully mom will show up soon. Okay, any moment now. And I do believe I have some more too. There we go. Yeah, once again, maybe I should spread them out or something like that. Because we can't see Haley's face. Maybe she's shy. All right, so what do we got? Oh, yes, we have our first elephant. And I do have a place for the elephant. This is Ollie. Oh, that's a great name for an elephant, isn't it? Yes, it is. And there's not going to be anything blocking us from seeing Ollie, is there? Yes, and I do believe I still have more. I think I have multiple chimpanzees. Okay, so we'll get you company as soon as we can. Oh no, we have the final chimpanzee. This one is legendary. All right, so who's this going to be? Smiley. Okay, so we have a full family in here. So let's just get in there. There we go. Oh, and I guess I got a gift for a full family. I got some bucks. Okay, is that it? Are we done? Hold on a minute. Nope, we're not done. Oh, I got another koala. Okay, so we got Mama Koala. Roxy. Yeah, I've been saving these up. Okay, could you get the food thoughts out of your mind? We don't want to miss Roxy's arrival. Okay, wow, okay, hiding behind the trees again. I guess the other fellow doesn't even know she's there. Oh, and I do believe that's it. We've got everybody that uh, we had new. But we have a lot of new uh, individuals here. Uh, like I say, maybe spreading these out a bit might not be a bad idea. I'm not sure. Are these still expensive? Uh, Money-wise, no. And I do have a lot of these. You know what? Let's start doing that. Because as you saw, I have a lot of shovels. Yeah, I have a lot of shovels. And I I'm counting on getting money today, too. So I could still buy the factory, but I am counting on getting some more. All right, so let's get back. All right, and let's pull all the way up here. Right now, in terms of the new factory, I'm not even sure where I'm going to be putting it. I guess maybe I could stick it in there. Because otherwise, I have no idea. Or maybe I could put it up there. He'll have to move that boom box, though. All right, well, let's see how much money we're going to have. Because, you know, the last time we did this, and from what I have seen, the money isn't as great. Now, obviously, if we're going to do this, the first thing we're doing is we're going over to the factory right over here. I should say the laboratory because there is a special little buff that we need, isn't it? If we're going to go in there, oh, do I have one? No, no, I, I have to actually get it. All right, but you can see I got the jewels for that. Not a problem. This one, of course, is see the light or an artifacts from darkened areas in the mine become visible. Yeah, if you're going to do this, you need this one. It makes things so much easier. And of course, it lasts 24 hours, so it's no big deal. And of course, I got a, um, I got an achievement for that, didn't I? Yes, I did. More bucks. Okay, more bucks. I'm hoping to get way over the, uh, the thousand mark. If we complete it, we get 200, so that would be uh, 1,200. I'm hoping that we'll get a little bit more than that. Right. I think that's about it. Like I said, I have to add a couple of things. Um, I, if we get a good amount of money, I can add the hydroelectric plant after we're done. I have been doing some clearing up here, as you can see. I'm going to get a free plot from this. So what I might do is I might, I don't know, maybe I should do this over here. Just so I have more space. They are starting to get expensive, though. All right, so let's just head over to the mine. The first thing I want to do is we'll go in. And as you can see, I actually have a lot of supplies here. So there's no question I'm going to be completing this. But let's just take a quick look at the rewards. Obviously, we're going to start with the, uh, the pickaxes. And then we're going to be doing the doubling. Every time you hit one of these doubles here, you know, for five minutes, where you're going to get double points for everything you pull. So the idea is to complete, like get to this before the first five minutes is up and then get down over to here 
before the five minutes is up, and then it's 15 minutes. If you get the general idea. And that last one is 15 minutes there. Um, that one in the middle right there, that's a free plot of land. No tools, no money necessary. Just stuff. And I still don't understand why it is that uh, that building material is second to last. But then again, we want the, uh, the 200, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, so the last time we did this, I basically did it, didn't speak, and then sped up the video. There seemed to be a lot of positive reinforcement regarding that, so that is what I'm going to do again. The previous time, the last section, I actually went back to normal speed. It seems that maybe I should just speed all the way through it. And then afterwards, we're going to see what we can do with our township with all the money we're going to get. We're not going to get as much as we used to get. But we did get some because there are little shrines and there's ways of getting money. So I'm hoping that I can get enough to get the factory and then get the hydroelectric plant. Because that's the next expensive thing. And then I can save up for the apartment buildings if, uh, if I don't actually have the money for it. But I do need to build those as quickly as possible. So, let's begin.
And that's done! Once again, Ruler of the Mine. If uh, that's how you want to see these in the future, just let me know in the comments and that's what we'll do. I'm going to speed that up so it'll be a lot quicker than it took for me because it took... Um, I think it took like 35 minutes for me to do and uh, 
Yeah, I think sped up is kind of better because you're seeing what's happening. It's happening a lot quicker. And these days, quicker is better, usually. Anyway, congratulations, you completed all of the tasks and won the grand prize. I did get some money out of that too, so uh, I can do some purchases. So I do have a good starting point here for the next one when that comes around too. Certainly enough dynamite. I got a lot of dynamite. TNT could use some more of that. And you can see I got the two times up there. All right, so let's buy ourselves some stuff. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking next to... Uh, what is this again? The pastry factory? And I do have a road there too. So all right, let's build some stuff. Factories, not the feed mill. No, we're going all the way to the furniture factory. The next one is level 50. Not much of a reprieve there. All right, so... Um, yeah, actually, I had a good guess as to where I wanted it, wasn't it? 48,000. Boom, I'm down to 18, just like that. All right, the other thing that I need, which is also expensive, is the community building the hydroelectric plant, which is going to be 15,500. But that's going to give us um, a raise in the maximum population. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what I got to do, right? Can only, oh, can only be placed on water. Oh, okay. All right. Um, can I put, I can't put it there. I mean, I could put it there. It's just really ugly right there. Thing is, I don't really own any water, do I? I mean, I never grabbed this stuff. So I'm thinking that, you know, I mean, it's ugly, but what else am I going to do? I'll put it right here. The Coast Guard can watch after it. Yeah, I mean, I never bought any, but then again, I do have an extra spot, but you know what? I'm not going to buy water unless I actually have to. If I have more of those to do in the future, yeah, I can do that then. Anyway, I don't have to do that right now, and I don't have a lot of money left. And of course, as soon as I got that max, I need to get, where is it here? Uh, the housing co-op. Is that the new one? That's one of them. Okay, so that one is 3,000. That's going to get me 100. And then I have this one, which is 6,300. That's going to get me an extra 140. So yeah, very expensive. So the uh, mine came around at a very opportune moment, didn't it? Yes, it did. What was I waiting for here? Yeah, unfortunately, those are going to be waiting for a long time, as we saw. 31 minutes left for the first one. So I'll get that later. Anyway, once again, we have completed the uh, Ruler of the Mine, and the money was very useful for advancement. Now, in terms of the next level, Duck Feeder. Is this another animal thing that I'm going to be getting? Because I see down feathers, and I see multiple things from the Duck Feeder. I mean, is that a factory, or is that a place for animals? Because I don't see a feed. Normally, you would see, okay, it's an animal, so you're going to have to get a specific feed. And what is this? Okay, so the next feed isn't until level uh, 63. So I don't think the ducks are actually an animal. So it should be interesting to see how that works out. Anyway, the current population, of course, once again, is 5385, and that's going to go up. But I'm going to have to raise some money to buy those apartment buildings in the meantime. At least there's no factory at the next level. Those factory levels, they're very expensive. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.